Mr. Clay Clark. My goal here is to help you guys um, learn to thrive, to learn some action items, and I'm gonna be teaching you concepts from people who are much more successful than I am. What percentage of jobs in the United States were created by small business owners? Does anybody wanna take a stab at it? You, sir, you have a guess there? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this, can we, can we pass this beef jerky down the row to him? We'll make it down to you. Awesome. How many times did Walt Disney go bankrupt for a chance to win some beef jerky? Beef jerky. Uh -uh. Ladies, pumice, pumice. <laughs> what I'm hoping you can do is find three action items that you can apply in your own life that can help you guys thrive. I grew up extremely poor. Um, what does that mean? Uh, I wasn't homeless. Basically, finances were the, the basis for all decisions. So if, if I can do it, I know you can do it, all right? I know you can do it. Knowledge without application is meaningless. It's, it's meaningless for you, it's meaningless for me. When I read this quote here, when I read this quote from Thomas Edison, it blew me away. Because growing up poor, what do you do when you get a bonus? Spin it, right away. You put spinners on the car. It's still a bad car, but you have spinners. I got in a car accident, and I couldn't afford to replace it. I bought it for $1,000, and my uh, transmission was held together as a manual transmission, and I held it together with a cell phone clip. My first company was a mobile entertainment DJ service. People would call and say, nice car, buddy. Or they would call and say, do you DJ? And I could book usually about one out of three people that would call with a complaint. I've been telling him for years, always work via appointment. He's like, two o'clock or four, what time works best? I want to throw this out here for you. This is what, this is, some, uh, this is a research that I did. Hundred, uh, strong evidence suggests that 100% of humans will eventually die. What's a goal you've been putting off for a while? You want to write a book? Let's do it. Let's schedule it. Let's go. Boom. Let's schedule a time. That is our battle cry I think we should have here, is that you have to be crazy enough to think that you were put on the planet for a reason and that your life matters. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter how much money you have, you have to believe that you can make a big impact. I think, for me, living the life of your dreams is knowing that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing right now.